YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Seth and J27, and I'm back here with another Man 21 franchise slash race of the franchise slash coach of the year slash whatever you want to call it. All right, I'm back here with another video, man. And when this one, we got the Washington football team versus my Detroit Lions. Okay, now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is I think it's the first game in a long time that I lost a quarter and like like really was losing going into the second half and everything so like not the second half but the second quarter and hey i'm not gonna lie they they, they put up they were putting up a fight left and right scoring touchdowns great defensive stops sacks oh they're doing their thing out there man all right now this this game is a great back and forth game here okay so i hope this, you guys really appreciate it and i hope you guys you know do go ahead and like the video okay with that like me and say you know if you haven't already you know hopefully by the end of this video you would have liked it, it like put you know hit that little like marker right there okay because i'm going for the goal of at least 10 likes this game okay i get around five likes so let's see if i can get to 10 likes this game okay i know it's probably gonna be like nah you're not getting it but who knows you never know i might be able to somehow pull it off but 10 likes is gonna be the goal for this one man all right so please like it Subscribe to the channel if you are already subscribed, man, and turn on post notifications. And if you kindly would, go share this video with a friend, man. All right, I really appreciate it if you could go share this one with a friend. All right, um, also, if you haven't already, go follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Safi J, man. That is switch.tv slash Safi J. Go over there, man. Put down a follow. Say what's up to me. Say, yo, from YouTube, I hate your videos. Or, yo, from YouTube, I like your videos. I really don't care. I'm not gonna be offended, all right? That just shows me that, hey, at least my content is getting out there to some people, rather they like it or rather they hate it, okay? That's 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 not that bad to me, you know? <laughs> but uh, also, if you kind of could, go follow your boy on Twitter, twitter.com slash Sathy J, man, twitter.com slash Sathy J. Like I said, I'm trying to get back into doing all these uh, tweeting things. I haven't really, well, not back into it, trying to get into it. I never was really a tweeter. I never really cared about Twitter, but I see that I really have to concentrate on trying to grow in the multiple different ways you have to grow not only as a human being but also as a concert creator and doing both of those commandos into one i actually have to go out there and start tweeting out stuff you know and i see like showing that this is just some some side thing i want to do like i don't really want to take this seriously okay but um go ahead and try go, go follow me on all three of those man also if you kindly could please please by all means i had no other thing to say i just i started to say this as if i was streaming i'm not gonna lie to you like that's 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 literally how i talk I, I talk as if i'm streaming all right i'm sorry okay i had nothing else to say nothing all right cool <laughs> i appreciate you for checking out this one man i'm gonna get up out of here y'all have a great day if you need to know any links for any of those will be down below in the comment no, i'm sorry down below in the description area y'all have a great one peace today from board field in detroit to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Washington football team. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for visiting Washington, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point, but boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how all right man we got alex smith this week man hope we can come out and do, do what we need to do man
Mm -hmm. From the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you could do just about it. Ooh. It's the 25. Ooh. And he Ooh. Going out of the bounds, but not before he takes it down. Did he just do that to me? Did he just do that to me? They tried to attack the secondary, but I'm not sure that we thought they'd do it right on the first drive of the game. But here they saw an opportunity, seized it, and it's a big play right off the bat. Bro. Oh, my God. And he got them both down. Yo, that's a hey, that's an impressive ass catch. That's it, impressive. I'm not even mad at it. I'm not even mad at it. That's just an amazing catch. Now. Here's first and 10 at the 25 yard line. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Wasn't even mad at it. Short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Okay, hunker down now, defense. Hunker down. Hunker down now, man. Hunker down. Wow. Okay. 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 All right. They had it. They had a good little. They had a good start. They had a great start. I'm not gonna lie. But we got the boy Derrick Henry back there running that football. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. He was the numbers on the ground for Henry last week. He was without a doubt one of the catalysts in that victory. And he can really be the glue that makes this offense go because when defenders have to commit to that makes no again, sense. The glue that makes the offense glow go. Right. There's not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Run that back. Call it a gain of seven and it gets in the new set of down. Run that back. First and ten at the third. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And it away. As he was knocked as he threw it away. That was good defense. That was good defense. Not gonna lie. Let's get some yards right here, though. Wow, yo. Oh, no. Hold on. This defense is. Uh... Hold on. This defense is coming, coming to play. Hold on. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Let me get that first. Let me get that first. Let me get that first and let them uh, let me introduce them correctly to Marshawn Lynch. No, sorry, not Marshawn. Not Marshawn Lynch, bro. My boy, I'm so I'm used to playing the other one. I'm not bad. I was playing the other one the other day or something. I went my other season or something else where I got Marshawn Lynch as my running back. My fault. My fault. Introduced him to Eric Henry. One of, the, one of the nastiest running backs in the whole league right now. I know everybody about to be roasting me in the comment section. This motherfucker is saying Marshawn Lynch, this guy. Oh. oh, let's go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Let's go. Let them know. Let them know so, man. Ooh, ooh, off me. Off me. Get off me. You off me too. I'm off. I'm off to the races. Hey, hey. All right, come on, y'all. We got to show up right here, right now, man. Yo, yo, he's just, he's just having a run. This O-line is nasty right now. Hold on. 
first down. This O line is nasty right now. From the gun, here's Smith. And he finds his rookie target from Memphis, Antonio Gibson. Come on now. I know this made me jump in the gun a little bit, but seven to seven. They're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. And he's across the 40. Come on now, y'all. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. At the 43 yard line. That's complete to his receiver, McClure. God damn. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down. Look at his swag now, right now. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Wow. What is going on, bro? We've had the ultimate rush defense. We've had the ultimate rush defense. What's going on with y'all, bro? Why is little ass out, bro? What's going on today, guys? What's going on today? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. No. This guy's just running through. He's just running through this offense, bro. No, oh, this is defense. They're not giving a fuck about it. Oh, that's my fault. That's out. That's out. That's out. Good shit, y'all. Good shit. Good shit. Way to hold up. Way to hold up. Way to fucking hold up, defense. And it's three nothing, Washington. Because the extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, this shit. that's the one that bothers me more. Yeah, this will leave this a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. From the gun, here's Swift. I swift for you. I swift for you. He's about to eat. He about to eat. He about to eat tonight. Let's go to the second half. Let's go to the second quarter, man. Let's go to the second quarter. I think this is the first quarter we've lost in a long time. This might be the first quarter we've lost in a long time. Good plays have him on the move on first down. Running is Swift. Let's go Swift. Let's go Swift. Let's go Swift. Midfield striping into Washington territory. Seven yards on the. Keep moving in feet, man. Keep moving in feet. Get this first right here. Get that first. Let's go. Get that first. Close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 40-yard line. All right, here we here we go, Derek. Here we go. Power run game. Power run game. Power run game. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to. Rumbling, bubbling, stumbling. Illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. I could have sworn I told them to move up to go the other way with it, but whatever. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down ten at the twenty-six yard line. Now a carry for Swift. Stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. He was brought down by Cole Holcomb. It's a gain of eight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
I got Julio. I got Julio. Julio gonna help me. Julio's gonna help. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Being chased out left. I don't know why my dude was so slow in that situation. I don't know why he was so slow in that situation. I don't have Julio where I want him. I don't have Julio where I want him in that situation. Let's go with this. And if we can get it, beautiful. Come up. Let's go, let's Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe you'll ask him very fucking well. Very fucking well. Get him out in open space. Maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call him the West Coast offense? The long handoff. Serve as your run. Good shit. Good shit. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackle. What? Continue to feed him the ball. How? He's that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him How does that one miss? Different ways here. Four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down. Oh shit. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And this Woo! is going to be incomplete. I stopped because I thought he was throwing it. I, I stopped because I thought he was going to throw it earlier. Pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Let's go. Hey. Here we go now. Here we go now. These guys just need to get comfortable. That's all it was. These guys just need to get comfortable. Perspective that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely. What? How? Looking for when you're playing defense. How is it? How is that not a catch? Incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Out of the gun now on third down. A slant to Jones. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have Wow, coverage, he didn't even block the second guy at least. Even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On play action, they'll throw. Yeah, no, I didn't have nothing. My old, but when I, this is the true showing of why my deep, my offensive line is ass. This this shows the the assness of the offensive line. This is third and fourteen. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Wrong guy. That was the wrong guy. I thought X was triangle. That's my fault. I thought X was triangle. I'm on. I'll punt this. Understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. It'll be called just a 22 yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. On first down, Smith. Good pass, bro. Good pass. After a very nice game. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down. Black Soto. Yardage at the 50 right at midfield. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 50 yard line. 
Oh, pick that. Thank you. I was about to say, bro, pick that. You right there. You right there. Protect the sticks. Out of the gun, Smith. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Problems on third down so Let's go. far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Uh, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Come on, Derek. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and give these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Mm -hmm. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know how to use that against you, man. And he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen I was hoping pass. it was going to break big. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he's going to get I had to make sure I squeeze that one in there. I didn't expect him to actually stop. I thought it was going to be one of those. Uh -uh, and they keep it going. Let's go, Julio. I didn't even know that was Julio. I didn't even know that was Julio. Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. Let's go. Julio Jones. As the first half is winding down, and the Lions are able to grow their lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No so reason. we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute, but first... Let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, and it's the Jaguars who are out in front. Gardner Minshew has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we'll head to Cleveland to check on the Browns at home at First Energy Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Houston Texans. Baker Mayfield with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Sterling Shepard, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, Let's get going ready here. to kick off their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff has spent the entire half. Bro, how is he getting pushed off his, his rut? Off his runs, bro? Like, to do to attack us in the second half. 
Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They trying to hit. They trying to hit today. That's a gain of four. Brings up third. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They set up the screen for Henry. Off me, Nate. Stiff arm. That was frustration right there, boy. That was all frustration from him. We have Jackson slow to get back on his feet. Appears to that was nothing up. but frustration from him, man. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 44-yard line. We'll check on his status when we get Let's back. go. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. The last run got six. Now second and four. So I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question. Bro, they is not letting they is not letting him get any like significant runs, bro. They're not letting him get any significant runs. They keep it with Henry on first down. How? There's no way. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. On the counter, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving awfully well. Whatever the discussions were at that time to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds and being erased off of the Ooh, I'm trying to, hey, I'm trying to pull those in here, man. They are really locked in on offense. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Ah, I'm trying to get Henry one, bro. I am trying to get Henry one. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. This is muscle. Ah, oh, I can't. Ah, ah, I want this to be him, bro. Yeah. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have Here we go now. Here we go now. Drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others. This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points. Oh, let's go. Let's go. It's time. Ascension. No, it's such. Oh, no. No. Cousin. Good shit, bro. He'll drop to throw, rolling to his right, and that is incomplete. Wow, that's the touch. That's the first down, bro. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and ten. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. You'll force the incompletion on first. Come on now. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. Yeah, that wasn't where I was wanting to go with it. That's not even where I want to go with it. I wanted to throw it's a fucking triangle, bro. But like, I've been, I've been making bad passes all game. And he 
Like, I, I literally have been throwing it to the wrong person all game. I'll press one button thinking I'm throwing it to one other person, and then it'll go to somebody else because I pressed it to somebody else. That one was supposed to go to triangle, not square, bro. That's my fault. I can't be mad at, at the game. That's just my fault. I press the wrong buttons. This might be our first hundred yard game that we're gonna give up here. The ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. First down, Washington. Operating from the gun. Smith. That's caught. It's Thomas. This shit. Way to hold up, bro. Oh man, he's finding the holes in our defense, man. They are just finding the holes in the defense. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely in a good shit. This is taken in for a Washington touchdown. One tells us if you don't get it back to the 20 yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. So from the 17, here's second and seven. They'll run it again with Henry. He's got a first down pass. Let's go. And all the way Let's go now. Let's go, Henry. Let's go, Henry. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. It's always fun to watch him work. It is eye opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, let's go. Let's go. They don't have to hold blocks for long. Because he's just gonna let's go. Jump ball. Jump ball. Some rookie running backs come in and have a big impact year one, and this guy would certainly fit that. Let's go, goal. man. That was one heck of a run there, and that's a second touchdown run of this game. And this one had a high degree of difficulty to it as well. I'm absolutely marveling at how effortless he makes this look. I mean, let's face it, he had a long way to go, but how about the vision, the creativity with the football in his hands? It's really something to watch. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. I think I got my swagger back. Oh, oh. So they elect to pass there on the two point try. Sometimes can prove risky there at work down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky a little bit. Maybe pump up the pace. Maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. On first down. Let's go. Good shit, Flowers. Good shit, Flowers. Just a three yard gain there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Damn. Yeah, Gibson get 100 yards this game. He, he, he's gonna have 100 yards by the end of this game. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. This, this O line is just it's decimating us. This O line is just decimating us, man. What? Right side here and that's complete. I didn't even hit him. Taking it across midfield and inside. I didn't even hit him. I didn't even hit him. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes in the question. Having poise this stage of the game. You can't have those kind of plays. Now he's going to good rap. Good rap. Good rap. It's a good tackle rap. It's a good rap and a good tackle. Yo, don't hit the, don't hit the head coach, man. Don't hit the head coach. Pass play wound up for negative yardage. So here's second and 11. A plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing on his ass. Feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about. And that takes him up to another level. 
right now they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Ooh, I was going for it. I was going for it. Successful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will get the disadvantage now back to Detroit offense. Ready to begin their drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep So to cut it up. I gotta learn to just cut it up. I gotta learn to just cut it up. When when ain't nothing there, just cut it up. You try to hold on to that. Good way to hold on to that, man. Yeah, step up in the pocket and just deliver one. Let's go, Swift. Let's go, Swift. Let's go, Swift. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Him. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yards. He's having a tough game right now. He's having a tough game, man. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Swift. Hmm. Good stop. A few times here today. This run doesn't go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. No gain on the play. It's now third and eight. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. A good decision in the end to pull it. Good one. shit, bro. Yo, shout out to the running back for taking for hitting that well one dude so I can get out there. The running back made a key block in that situation. He made a key block. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you. I got something. I got something from nothing. I got something from nothing. Because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. That's going to be Let's go! And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown. Let's go! A 24-yard touchdown. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood? That's Julio. Big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Let's go! Under the Lions pressure, he's brought down. Let's fucking go, man. Has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Another try after the first down sack. Smith. They'll set I didn't even touch the quarterback, bro. I didn't even touch the quarterback. They're bullshitting. I didn't even touch him. Like I genuinely didn't touch him that time. I ran to the right. Cause I knew he was. Only, I knew he was gonna get it off at times, so I ran to the right. On a screen pass, now are you rushing the passer? You're rushing him deeper than normal, and I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're gonna hit him anyway when you shouldn't. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. San Francisco versus New Orleans. That's the ass game. Yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Throwing again. Smith. Oh, good catch. Good catch. 
Good catch. Good catch. He threw it. He also dot too. He threw that in the only spot. The only his only his tight end can get it. That was a good ass dot. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna give this time to the tailback, and now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. I wanna fuck up this fucking running back, bro. I wanna fuck him up, bro. After the pickup of five, here second and five. Well, he gets attended to. Touchdown. Touchdown, Washington. I told you, but this running back's gonna have a hundred yards. His second touchdown of the afternoon. Analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. He didn't jump. He didn't jump. Oh my gosh. I was about to touch him right there. Try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession mm. is nine tenths of the law. Possession is nine tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Henry. And he's Face mask. Just a couple here with a mark on mask. the field as well. Face mask. Holding. Wow. It didn't. It didn't make no sense. I heard him in the background. Wow. And as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Oh, first, first. On the right sideline, but first. not in the field of play. They say oh. it's incomplete. That's a first. The throw led him a little too wow. far. Brings up third down. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. You already know. I kind of want to. You already know. I kind of want to. You already know. I kind of want to alright, you already know. Now on third and long, they'll you already the know. They'll let this go for the end zone. You, are, you already know the vibes. You already know the vibes. Back at it again. Back in action with the Brody. Shout out to Hoodie Sean, man. <laughs> The one hair. Oh my God. Julio. Julio. They're staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense is going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. So, back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, here's Smith. And oh, that was a pick. That was a pick. Oh, that was a pick. The safety that time, Tony Jefferson there on the That was a pick, man. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Smith. Mm, good. That was good. That was good. That was good. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing again is Smith. That's complete to his receiver. McCoy. Let's go. Three yards the gain there, second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. I'm putting him uh, under pressure. He is going to be under tremendous amount of pressure to end this game out. Following the incompletion on second down. And seven yards to the air again, Smith. Nope. No. Yeah, no. So a big call there that brings up Ford. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They snap it to Smith. Man, open it's Moss. I don't know why I couldn't get to that D line right there. He's inside the 40. On first down, Smith. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On second and ten, Smith. Thank you. A clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. No, you're not taking that. That's true front. That's true front right there, boy. 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 And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. Hey, good shit, true front. Way to get in front of him. Drive the Washington offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing. For pride at this point <laughs> that's that's all that's left because victory not a chance now and i can't wait to see how they actually go about oh guess they're trying to get a second one guess they're trying to get a second one as they said he went another and do it really well otherwise there could be repercussions we'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one and looking for mclaurin but this is intercepted let's go Let's go. Put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about them. Oh my god, that's a nasty I mean, catch. Game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball. And I like this one. This is a great photo. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Detroit, the win will move them to seven and two now on the year, and they will hit the road next week. All right, Chad, that's gonna be it for me, man. I appreciate y'all coming out. All right, y'all have a blessed day. I'm out of here, man. Peace.